couple of $20,000 reward now on the table for information about the shooting death of a midshipman's mother. Michelle Cummings was shot while sitting on a hotel patio in Annapolis early yesterday morning. Thanks for staying with WJZ tonight. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Rick Ritter. The 57 year old struck by that bullet while in town for her son's induction day. And police say she was not the intended target, but the FBI and the ATF, they are now joining in on this investigation. Now, because of this murder, this year's plebe induction day in Annapolis, of course, covered by a cloud. It's also very different because the pandemic is coming to an end. And Amy Kawada has a look at what to expect for this plebe summer. Why is the other hand not in position to take Incoming plebes reporting for induction day. Definitely, definitely excited, but also a little nervous. I'm excited. I'm ready to start this journey. Good morning. Good morning, sir. As nearly 1,200 men and women in the U.S. Naval Academy's plebe class of 2025 enters a once in a lifetime experience to begin their six week transformation into midshipmen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I've always felt like a calling to do something. Uh, for the greater good and for the community. This time around, many COVID restrictions are lifted, and they're not holding back. Greet all these officers. Greet them. Greet them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're executing seven weeks of training. And this year, we're trying to turn up discipline a little bit. We're trying to turn up the intensity a little bit. Families were also able to send off their plebes on campus. I, I know this is where my child is supposed to be. It's um, I'm gonna miss him. And how are you feeling? Thoughts as parents? Oh, uh, it's. Wow. So proud for her. And the much anticipated buzz cut traditions for men had seats at the barber shop filled up again. An exciting day for many. We're going to ensure that they have what it takes to join the brigade. While some are going in with heavy hearts after learning just about 24 hours before the big day, one of their own midshipmen's mother visiting was shot and killed by a stray bullet at the graduate hotel. When I heard the news yesterday, it, it literally just about took me to my knees. Of course, our prayers and our condolences go out to the family. Uh, it's an unthinkable tragedy. Throughout the tragedies and hardships, officials say the Naval Academy family is resilient and will always take care of one another during yeah, this journey. Thank you. And induction day will wrap up tonight at 7 with the oath of office ceremony. And this year, families are invited. The event will also be live streamed. Reporting from the Naval Academy in Annapolis, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.